Barb's, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be happy about this. Hey, come on, boys. Hey guys, welcome back to Rockwell Acres Farm. I'm John. Today we're going to do something we've not really ever done before. We're going to saddle up our horses, we're going to ride out into the field, and we're going to gather up some cows. We do know that a couple of our horses here, Watson and Dottie, have some roping background, but we're not sure about Rio. I guess I'm all Hey Dottie. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but we have a couple of buddy sour horses. Bourbon, he's in the other pasture over there, and man, he is throwing a fit right now. Um, so he's just going to have to deal with it, and there he goes again. <laughs> he's just going to have to deal with it. Sometimes it, it doesn't hurt these horses to get away from their buddies for a while, and that's what we're doing right now. Brooke's about to pick Watson's hooves. She's only doing the front hooves because the, he's not real good with his back feet right now. And right now we're in the process of just um, doing groundwork with him, teaching him ground manners. Um, the person that we got him from before didn't really work with him a whole lot on ground manners. So um, he's still a work in progress in that area. He's a, a very sweet five-year-old horse. Okay, Brooke is, um, she's picking Rio's feet. This is her baby. He's her uh, horse that she rides in, uh, on a drill team in the rodeos. And this horse is catered. This horse is catered to. And she treats him better than me, and I'm her dad. Oh, looky, looky, we got a cowboy or a wannabe. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> I, I would say the only cowboy on this place right here is that one right there. A That's a cow, a real cowgirl right there. Doesn't like those bats. You're all right. You're all right.
had to take a little bit of break from saddling the horses and I had to go get some water for the pigs. So I'm over here at the pigs right now and I'm getting them some water and we're doing this every about every four days and right now we don't have water to our, our this area we have spigots when we get our water hooked up to our house we're going to put spigots in but at the moment we don't have them so i'm having to drag water in these 250 gallon totes i'm having to drag those all the way over across the field and i'm kind of getting seriously tired of doing that but the wonderful thing is i have a pond on the other side of the driveway and my plan is in the next couple of weeks i'm going to bring these uh, pigs over there and i'm going to put them across the driveway uh, until we start getting some water and some rain and stuff like that because right now they're they're everything they have pretty much dried up their their big mud hole it was full of water their big mud hole was full of water it's pretty well dry look at this there's nothing left we haven't had rain in like 14 days now and uh there's been a couple of chances the last few nights and it's every every night it's missed us so we have to do something and that may be our next step is to move them over to across the road so they'll have a pond to drink out of hopefully hopefully i'll have enough water left over to fill this up they can get in it and cool off there's just not any water here okay i'm back from watering the pigs and it looks like most of our cows are on the lower part of our field out here i think we can um round them up we'll see really i could probably go hey cows come out here throw some cattle cubes in the corral and pretty much every one of them would go in there but we just kind of want to see if we can actually round these these cows up on horseback see how that goes um kind of get an experience out of it really yeah that's watson's because that's mine what junior cow horse that's it that's it okay. <laughs> he's just being a little bit stubborn right now She's tall, but you're short.
Okay, so our cowboy expedition didn't go as planned. I guess we uh, aren't real cowboys. Um, and the cows and the horses don't really get along that well, so we decided to pull out of there and not test it. But the cows see us out here, and here they come. Come on. Whoop. All we're doing is getting two bull calves up. We're going to haul them off to Asylum Springs cell barn. Um, hopefully this will go as planned and we'll, we'll get these in here and get them sorted and get them moved as quick as possible. Okay, I got one bull in already. Here comes the second bull. Go ahead and close the gate here in a second. I think I got two bulls in here right now. Shut the gate. Shut the gate. Here, here let them two go. Let them two out. Right, here they go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. smaller ones <laughs> Don't let the bull Go Good job Go girl He has um he has experience from Fanny. That's exactly what we want. We want these two guys in here. Uh, we're going to pull up the trailer. We're going to load them up and haul them off. I think the trailer has a flat too. Because this is for the higher truck. This truck's not near as high as that other one. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring it up all the way. I think that'll be good right there. That should get us about level. It's on my hand. Shut that gate quick.
Does this thing have a leak in it somewhere? Yeah. We just changed the tire a few weeks ago. It was one of these. Down here, leaking it. Do we have a spare? One of those. Okay. It's just not aired up. <laughs> Is it not? Yeah. Does, it, does it need air in it? Yeah. Okay. Look at those cows are moving this trailer pretty good. Okay guys, we just dropped the bulls off. We came across the street to eat at Freddy's and everything went according to plan and we're fixing to head home. Um, if you like our content, if you like what you're seeing, if you want to see more videos, please like and subscribe to our channel and we appreciate everybody watching.